All right, welcome to this version of my tutorial for the Scribus. And this is an open source app that replaces Adobe Acrobat, uh, Quark Express. Um, this is for creating page layout and design and you could save it as a PDF or you can save it for print. Uh, to go to the website just uh, go to Google and type in Scribus and it should come up as the first link Scribus.net and as you can see they show a couple images of what be, can be done with this program. Um, so first thing you want to do is go to download. And they have different versions of the 1.4.2. And they have the Windows 32-bit and 64-bit. Um, and if you're on a OS X, you can take the the DMG, or you can take the package installer, which is the better option. You can just it'll install everything for you. Uh, once you have it installed, you're going to find the little icon. Just open it up. when you first install this and open it up you want to check your preferences and your page sizes so first thing you want to do is go to file and preferences and it'll bring up this window or dialog box and you want to go to document and over on the left in the document layout they show the different templates for the single page I always like to have mine as a standard 8.5 by 11 so you want to change this to 8.5 by 11 and then you can have your orientation however you want and then your units depending on what you're doing what you're used to working with they have the points, millimeters, inches, picas, centimeters and zero, zero. But once you have all this set up, so the way you want, type in your guides. You can just scroll through all the rest of the settings. And this is the quick way. You also want to uh, adjust your margins to whatever you want. And just click OK. So once you go new, you go single page, and then you can set up your page. It will use the defaults that you just set in the preferences. So let's click OK. So remember to uh, set up your preferences before you go new document. Otherwise you can't go back and reset the page. Let's click OK. And you'll be presented with an 8.5 by 11 page.
and then you're already set to design from here go to insert you can insert things into your page from here and the page you can insert more pages you just click on insert in three pages at the end before the page or after page or at the end of the document so we'll say at the end of the document so now if you look down here it'll show us the different pages that we can go to and up here these are the same things as what you'll find in the insert menu these are just the uh, the quick button icons from there this button here you can insert PDF functions such as the button, a text field, same with the next one over here you can insert text or a uh, hyperlink you also got some different scripts that you can apply if you go about script and over to the right you have your layers and if you're familiar with like Photoshop or anything like that or even Illustrator. You just have different uh, layers that you can put things to, which makes it handy. If you have text that you don't want to move, you can put it on a, on a layer and lock that layer. And then you have your properties. And this will show you different things the properties for uh, changing whatever you put on your page. I will put this real quick, a little square. You can change the shape. You can even click on the edit shape. and you can edit the shape to fit your needs same with the XYZ you can move it to where you want I always prefer just to grab it and drag it around and colors change the color of it and that's for the fill then you got the line you can even use some of the buttons up here to rotate right here you got your your line tool and right
right here, you got your measurement. So you can actually see the size of something. Look right here. And when you save it, it'll save it as an SLA, which is actually a scribus document. But when you want to uh, save it as a PDF, you can go File, and you can Export. You can save this drawing, or whatever you did, as an EPS. Or as a save as a PDF. Just click on that. And pretty much all this for the moment you can just leave at the default. That's for another tutorial. You do want to save the output the file though. We'll save it as test. We'll say save. Now we can go look at what we just saved. It's right here. And there it is right there. So that's the quick basics of Scribus. I'll be having another uh, tutorial up shortly to uh, show you how to actually make a quick document in this program. And I think that's about it.